Half a million Yemeni children have been announced by the United Nations Fund for Children of being at risk of dying by 2012 if required resources of sufficient nutrition are not met. In a conference held to discuss this looming humanitarian crisis, UNICEF Director for Middle East and North Africa, Mary Calavis, warned of severe famine, saying a year of turmoil has doubled the number of malnutritioned children. 500,000 of these children are at the risk of dying or at the risk of being physically, mentally, cognitive impaired. Non-access to clean water, sanitation and sufficient food have doubled the number of children affected with malnutrition by 20%. According to the experts, Yemen has one of the highest rates of malnutrition in the world. 77 child under 5 years out of the 1,000 children are susceptible to be affected with severe cases of malnutrition. The problem of malnutrition is multiple factors. Poverty, hygiene, water, shortages of water, and the problems of health like diarrhea, and respiratory tract infections, all these contribute to the problem of malnutrition of children under five. In response to the growing problem of children affected with malnutrition, UNICEF announced a campaign to rescue children who are going to be born in 2012. UNICEF has set up 100 days as a deadline to achieve quick success in its responsive plan to address the growing problem. Its plan will cover the 34 most affected districts. We are, in UNICEF, we have intervened all over the country with support from, of course, with the Ministry of Health. But still, all our efforts are not enough as the problem is too huge. The one-year-long uprising has its toll on children. At least 149 children have been killed since the beginning of anti-government protests, which called for the ouster of Ali Abdullah Saleh since late February 2011 among them 24 young girls and three months old child. What, what happened in Yemen, multiple conflicts which caused the problem of malnutrition to grow bigger and bigger in this country. We are the second country after Afghanistan at these levels of malnutrition. During the armed clashes under a soldiers have been recruited by fighting groups Although the Yemeni government has pledged to put an end to children's recruiting in conflict zones. During 2011, Yemen witnessed many violations against children, including child recruitment. Children were subjected to fear, violence, and abuses. According to Siaj Organization for Childhood Protection, more than 600 children were killed and injured. Regime forces war on opposition armed groups who joined the uprising to put an end to Ali Abdullah Saleh's 33 years rule have left thousands of people displaced. Children were among the most affected people. As the country is entering post Saleh era, experts are optimistic that the children of revolution will witness more care and attention. Muhammad Al Attab, Press TV, Sana'a.